Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very exciting shelling episode coming up for you guys. We're finally getting back out onto the beaches and the tide pools and having a look for some fun animals and seashells. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel here. We're gonna get started in some big shelling today, finally. Haven't been out shelling in quite a while. As you guys might have known, I haven't uploaded in quite a while. So I'm very excited to get straight back into it today. And check it out, as soon as we arrive, literally just arrived five minutes ago, we have not one, but two crab molts. Check it out. Over the past couple of months, I've been finding these crab molts. If you don't know what a crab molt is, it's the shell of a crab. When a crab gets too big for its older shell, they molt it. And then you're left with a completely meat-free, stinkless uh, shell of a crab. And the easiest way to tell if it's a dead crab, or oops, or a molt, is if its eyes are see-through like that. Pretty cool, right? And that's a blue swimmer crab right there. Really nice condition, really nice blue claws right there, nice arms, very cool. They're actually pretty hard to find. Then we have a red one down here, not sure what these ones are called. Look at that guy. Beautiful colors on these red ones. We actually have a storm heading straight to us right now just overhead there, so we probably only have about an hour of shelling to do, but I'm pretty excited to get into it. Look at that. Straight away, as soon as we arrive, got a little micro shell there as well. That's all right, but I've got way too many micro shells. We've got two pieces of DNA coral here. Awesome, what a way to start the day, eh? We also have some very exciting news coming today in today's episode, so stay tuned for that and watch right until the end. But uh, yeah, let's see what else we can find shelling today. Ew. Let's go, Mr. Krabs. Yes, guys, I haven't seen blue, like, sea coral in such a long time. This one's only a small piece, but look at that. How incredible is that? I can't actually feel that. That is so incredibly cool. Isn't it beautiful? Just chilling out here in the tide pool really shows how healthy this whole little ecosystem around here is. Very cool, I wanted to show you guys that. This is my new shell case as well. Pretty cool, a lot of space in it, so hopefully we can fill it up today. Might have the first shell of the day down here, but I believe it's got a little crabby in it. Wow. That's a erosa, roted cowrie. But it's got a little hermit crab, little Mr. Crabs in it. So he got to it first. I'm not gonna take him or, or his shell. That's his home and he got it first. So fair play, buddy. You got a very nice house there. Very cool. Haven't found too much yet. We're actually getting sprinkled on. But uh, we should be fine. Should pass. Got a warp and see it. Oh my goodness. Sorry, buddy. He's inked on me. They do that when they feel threatened. It's not poisonous to humans, but it is to dogs. Wow, sorry about that, mate. I just wanted to show the camera you got you. I'll show you to the camera and all the people watching around the world. I mean, no harm to you, buddy. Just wanted to say good day. Hey, you're a beautiful specimen, aren't you? Giant he is. Absolutely giant. All right, I'll put you back in with you, mate. Let me get a better grip on you. There you go, buddy. Have a good day. Wow, look how potent that ink is. Very cool. Straight back to his friends. Haven't seen one of those guys in quite a while. All right, let's see what else we can find. See a big cowrie shell hiding right there. Oh, cool. Really hoping that's whole. Don't know if you guys can see it well. There you go. Comment down below right now. Do you think this is A, uh, live? B, broken, or C, whole? Comment down below, I'll give you guys a second. Pause the video. All right, let's check it out. I reckon it's definitely gonna be a nice shell. Let's check it out. Oh man, it's broken. Dang. Oh well. We'll leave it for the C. Maybe it'll come back whole again one day. That's why I know it. That's what I always say. But, uh, oh well. We're on to them. Hi. Straight back in for another critter to live in. All right, let's try and find a better one. Check out this little rock pool here. There's quite a bit of cool stuff in here. Look at this. See that little sand crab, blue, blue swimmer crab actually. 
sitting right in there. And then there's another one, can't really see too well, in there. Very cool, but look at this, right at my feet here, one of these. These wash up maybe six months of the year, all over the beaches. I'm talking like five or so every single meter. I don't really have any idea what they are. They definitely don't have any little dots in them like a moon snail bubble thing would, would have. So if you do know what these are, please comment down below. They're super interesting to touch. They obviously serve a purpose of some sort. Look at this. This might be foreign to some of you guys over in America and that. But you've probably already heard of them. This is a blue bottle jellyfish. He's definitely still alive. I'm going to grab this. Look at that. Look at those stingers so close to my finger. He is filled with stingers. I have been stung by one of these guys once before. Oh my. Uh, I need a bigger rock. Yeah, I have been stung by one of these guys once. And they are, yeah, the sting lasts for hours. Look at that. He is ready to sting. So they float on top of the surface there like that. Oh, let me just get that off so he can float away. Yeah, so that's exactly what they do. They float on top of the surface like that. And the stingers float below there and they get attached to people's legs and that sort of thing. You can touch this part here, but that in there is not what you want to touch at all. They can't kill you, but pretty nasty sting when they do sting you. Wow. That's one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. They get massive. Like, the biggest I've seen are, like, that big, you know? Very interesting. Definitely not going to pick him up and put him back in the sea, that's for sure. Wow. It's getting pretty tossed around there, but... Yeah, I am not touching that thing. No way. Well, see you later, buddy. So I think we might have a grape down here. Can only see the teeth. Oh, I'm really hoping this will make up for that cowrie. Nice. Very nice grape, actually. Look at that one. Beauty. Look, Pizzi. Is that nice? Yeah, that's a score, mate. What do you think? Hey, you're on the rock. That's so nice. So the scientific name for this one is Cyprae staphylae. Very cool. Beautiful spots on her. That definitely makes up for the broken Arabian. All right, let's keep going down this stream here. This out here, guys, we have a sea hare just down there. And look at all the purple ink here. Something has for sure had a go at him. And that's actually what the purpose of them inking is. So they can make a quick getaway while the predator is all confused and scared and can't see through the ink. Isn't that incredible? So something big has had a go at it. But as I was looking at him further and around where he is, look at this. That right there is a type of Nicobar Triton, I believe. And it looks like a really decent size. Can't believe I managed to capture that. Look at all that purple ink. This would have happened minutes ago. Isn't that incredible? Hey, we even have another baby sea hare there. He would have saw what happened. It's incredible. But yeah, let's check out this Triton shell here. Oh, whoa! It's got a little Mr. Krabs in it. Hold on, lifelike coming. We have a couple really nice shells down here. Look at this, I think they're two erosas. Oh, I'm hoping they're nice, but that looks really good there. Let's check that one out. Yeah, nice. Beautiful shell. How incredible is that? Second erosa of the day, well, the first one we we found it had a critter in it, so we let him go. Let's check this one out. Wow. That's even, oh uh, yeah. We definitely know which one's the better one, I think. Wow, that's awesome. Two erosas in the same little pool. Both actually, with these other pieces of shell sticking out of the lip. How cool is that, hey? Cool. Awesome. We got rewarded, of course, for not taking that uh, live shell. We never take live shells, but we found two to replace it. How cool is that? Phew, Cyprae Erosa. All right, let's see what else we can find. Close to the water here now, check it out. Do we have another crab malt? It looks like it. It's not gonna bite me. What is it? Yes, it is. It's another crab malt. How about that? Three for the day. Petrie, here. Petrie, what do you think? Is that nice? Pretty cool, isn't it? Ew. 
Ah, uh, yeah, he's got all four arms, two claws. Awesome. So the way I like to let these dry out is do not leave them in the sun. If you guys find them, don't leave them in the sun because they'll literally cook. There's no meat in them, but they will turn red. So if you do find one, just uh, yeah, leave it in the shade somewhere where there's a lot of wind and they'll dry out pretty quickly. Very cool. It's actually the exact same one as the, one of the first ones we found. Cool as. All right, let's keep going down the beach. I'm sure I found a really giant nudie branch right here. See him? Look how well he blends in. Let's say g'day. Look at that. That's the underside of him. And that's the top of him. Isn't that incredible? Wow. He's got his antennas there. Oh, hold on, buddy. Wow. I'm gonna just hold him out there for a second so he didn't get dragged away. There you go, buddy. That thing is giant. Not sure what type that is. If you do know, comment down below. I've seen quite a few of them over the years. Very interesting, aren't they? Super grit-like feel on top of him. Very cool. There's his antennas there. Nice. Look at this fella here, eh? He's only got one claw. Oh, didn't see me, eh? I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. Look at the size of him, though. Wouldn't want to get your finger in that, eh? Yes. Well, see you later. Very cool. So that's where the blue bottle jelly is that I just filmed. Look at this. Look at the condition of these ones here. Wow. So this is a snakehead here. There is a little Mr. Krabs inside there, but look at that condition. Wow, I haven't seen many carries in a while, so this is exciting for me. That condition is just incredible. Look at that. But as you guys know, we don't take live cells, shells, so we'll even be. Here's a blue carry, I believe. Very nice. Very cool. Nice, nice condition underneath. Even there, and he's right next to Mr. Seahead there. And there's one, where is he? Just in there. Pretty cool. I can't believe that though. Look at that. He's still hanging around there. All right, let's keep moving. Finding some cool stuff today. And life light's gone now, so we can take a look at this shell. Look at the size of that. I have one exactly the same size as this that I found many, many months ago, but this one's got a little crabby in it. How cool is that? We'll put him right next to Mr. C here. Look at the size of it. Big shell, hey? Lucky I have a one of these already, eh? Otherwise I wouldn't have felt so bad about leaving this guy. Oh well, he did find it first, that's always the rules. We don't take live shells at all, they deserve the shells just as much as we do. If not more, because they have to have them to live, so. That's incredible. Absolutely love the size of that. Really nice condition as well. Wow, yeah I know buddy, you're all right. All right, you deserve it. There you go, we'll put you right under there, eh? Awesome. What a cool encounter right around here. <laughs> Still a little bit of that purple in the water. Phew. Love this stuff. So glad to be back out here. Looks like we've got a couple of really nice shells down here. Check it out. We've got two cowries there and then a special shell right over there. Let's check these ones out first. Wow, look at that. Those are really hard to find actually. We found a live one in Harvey Bay a few months ago in an episode. And it was absolutely gem condition. Live one though, so we left it. But I already had one the exact same condition, so that's all right. Got a blue cowrie here, which is just pristine. Awesome. That's awesome as. Two nice cowries there. And a Gaia Triton? Yes, it is. <laughs> Let me get in a bit more stable position here. Little Gaia Triton, it's a little bit broken, but they're hard to find sometimes. Look at that, eh? Three nice little shells sitting in a little honey hole there. I was actually right next to the sea hare down there. Ew! Tickle, tickle, tickle. Got another big sea hare, sea hare down here. It's a beautiful fella. Hey, having some breakfast. How clear is the water today? Oh yeah, look at this thing. Step over Mr. Sea Hare. Watch this. This is, I'm not sure what this is called, but I've seen one of my friends touch one of these. Hopefully it's a good shot. Watch this. 
No, it's not the one. Different, different animal I was thinking of. One of those that look exactly like that. When you touch it, they close up really fast. Oh well, let's see what we can find. Found anything? Peter. Boy. If you do know what these are, please comment down below. Awesome. Gonna just put him straight back into the water. There you go. I'll put him just how I found him, actually. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can get closer to these crabs here. Look at you. Look oh, gorgeous. Hey. Very cool. He's only in about a foot of water. Pretty nice pinches on him. Go around him. Yeah, look at the other one here. It's definitely his mate. Otherwise, they would have killed each other pretty quickly over the territory. All right. Very cool. Bye, mate. Look at all those fish. <laughs> awesome. It's nice to be back out here. Haven't been out here in a while, Shelling. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. It's starting to rain a bit, but can you see what's down in here? A little Hebrew guy. Let's have a look and see. Alrighty. Let's see. Is it good? Is it empty? It's a nice little one. Hey Pete, you like that one? Yes? I can't eat it. <laughs> Perfect. Petrie's been searching around these rocks for about five minutes. He got stuck up there trying to hop down and he's been sniffing around. What can you see? What is it? What's it? I don't know what he's after. I think there's like know, fish or something in there that's been caught. What is it? using his little instincts to sniff it out. It's very intrigued. What is it? What did you find? Silly boy. It's cleared up quite a bit now. The storm has passed over us, which is nice. Now the sun's come back out again. It is a bit hot, but not as bad as other days. <laughs> it's really trying hard. What is it, buddy? funny <laughs> be careful and make sure that we don't let him jump off any big rocks or anything because of his little legs you've got to be very careful even though he likes to run around and explore he's got to be so careful with his little legs good boy Pete. <laughs>